of a break time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just got back. Not just got back, but on my break, as you can see, it's a little cloudy out here. I wanted to eat dirty today, so I went to the Chinese store. I'm like, you know, when I say I want to eat dirty, I mean it's unhealthy, you know, eating chicken and all that stuff. That's unhealthy. That's dirty. That's what we call dirty. So I wanted to eat dirty today, so I went to the Chinese store a little bit. Instead of getting a healthy section, I got me some German toast chicken, some rice. Feel me? I'm like, fuck that, nigga. I'm still gonna be cooking at home. It ain't nothing new. I just want something. <laughs> Fucking leaf, branches. I got a message for y'all, man. Well, let me see what the hell. A friend in the market is better than money in a purse. You feel me? A friend in the market is better than money in the purse. It doesn't matter how much money you got in your, in your wallet or your card or your account. If you have a friend in a place where you go on to shop at, especially a market, they can always give you things on a discount or even stuff for free. If you know the owner of the club that you're going to, let's change the market to a place that you're going to. You got to pay to get in and you know the owner, you can get in there for free. So it's all about networking and connecting with people you feel me it's never about how much money you carry and how much money you have it's all about this is how people people from other countries can come here and survive because they always have the the cousins and their uncles working in places and these people bring them back free stuff and everything else like that and that's how even most companies survive too most companies have partnership with other companies that's how you get to get your benefits and all that they, they got a contract so if the reason why I even brought this message up, truth be told, <laughs> I got that in my fortune cookie. And I'm like, I can eat off this uh, message. You know, the fortune cookie, and they, they got a message. And the message said, a message. A friend in the marketplace is better than a friend. And so I could just eat off. And that's just a, a topic that I can build. I usually I used to do that shit all the time in New York City itself. When I used to go to the Chinese store, got a fortune cookie, take that message, and I build off of it. So when I read it today, I'm like, yo, I used to do this shit. So I'm like, why not start doing it again? If I go to the Chinese store, if I see a message, and the other day I had a message, I forgot to tell you, I read that message off the wall at my job. And that was, um, <laughs> it doesn't matter what's going on. The things that's going on around you is less significant than the things that's happening within you. So if I see a message somewhere, I take it to my own and I read the message and I tell you, I elaborate on the message. That's what I usually do. You feel me? I don't know what's going on with these uh, popo, but let them pass. As a matter of fact, nowadays when I hear police sirens, I'm about to go in. If they could pull me over and be like, hey, um, we heard you. Traffic. They were just trying to beef traffic. <laughs> so what was the message again? The message is um yeah. So it's all about networking, man. This is how people from other countries can come here and survive and everything else, because they always have somebody who's working in another place. Here you are, you paying the full price for it then. You feel me? And they and they and they got a cousin in the back who's cutting that shit down, probably changing the price tag on it. They're doing every and anything to survive. You feel me? And you wondering, damn, how the fuck can these niggas come? I'm wondering the same thing too. Like these niggas come out here and, and that's cause they always they always have people that they, they speak 
if this go into a place and people speak the same language and they speak in a language that you can understand, they already networking and communicating with each other. You feel me? Like, hey, man, why am I, why am I gonna give the money to the owner? I could cut you a deal and there are backdoor deals and all that shit. Yeah, it's illegal, but to them, this is business. That's how they do business where they from. So it's not illegal to them. You feel me? So I'm not in, uh, uh, encouraging that because these companies also work very hard. They do it in a legal manner. So if you're going to do it illegally, at least, you know, now keep in mind that whatever you do, you could get in trouble for. That's all. You feel me? But yeah, just network, man. I mean, it's very hard to, to trust people nowadays. And this thing got a nice car. But how much we getting paid out here for? I ain't got that shit. Anyway, um, it's very hard to trust people nowadays, but it's not, it's, it's like, you feel me, to make that network happen, to just build that bridge, where it makes your life a little more easier to build bridges, you feel me? It's very, very hard to do. Sometimes you can have friends in silence, you feel me? But anyway, I'm about to go in, man. That was just the message. It wasn't much to say. Um, the haters gonna hate, regardless of what you say. They'll find a reason to be mad at something, always. And it's, it's just sad, you feel me? When a nigga don't like you, he'll find a reason to hate you. He'll say, I just didn't like the way he sneezed at me. I didn't like the way he looked at my child. Oh, I didn't, like, they would do anything. Remember when women were witchcrafts at one point and they were just killing them? Because somebody hated those women in particular. And they started hanging women because they said, these bitches is witchcraft. Well, if that was the case, how come there's no more witchcrafts in, in America? Did we kill all of them off? That's a lot. It's all about when a hater don't like you, they just, they will make anything up. Like, and they will, they will force their way for people to believe it. Like, they will, they will do any and everything. You feel me? So, it's kind of sad, man. And it goes right hand in hand with the networking, because sometimes even haters network. They will network another group for that group to get things cheaply. And another group they hard on, like, no, you gotta pay this. And when they charge, they basically give it away, to, they give it away to other people for free, and you end up paying for the rest of the uh, rest of the other people by the way they overcharge you. You feel me? I don't blame them niggas for trying to survive and everything else like that, but I blame the person who knows about both and treat another one less than. You feel me? I'm blaming the middleman. That's who I'm blaming. You feel me? And I keep better pass. And I keep hearing this bullshit shit talking on niggas be like, well, these people come into this country and they stand on the corner and they, they get it and they and they begging for jobs and they get a job and they still go home to a wife that respects them. And I'm like, look, man, stop separating people with different stories. Everybody has their struggle. We are more alike than apart. These people are going through the same thing. They wife be having the same problem with them and everything else like that. Some people have different cultures where their wife came and speak up. You feel me? So stop comparing contrasting foreigners to the African American family. At least the African everybody envies the African American family uh, woman because she has a voice to go back and forth with her man. In most cultures, they would beat the girl up and there wouldn't be no cops being called because they can't call no cops because domestic violence is like being your wife is accepted. You feel me? I'm just, you feel me? So it's like, come on, man. Like, y'all pick and choose and be like, oh, these people get respect from their wife and everything else. Like, I'm like, they wife envy and want to be, they want to voice their opinion just like the African-American. The African-American woman just had to tone it down a little bit and know that, you know what I mean? This is your man, da 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 But it just go to a sticky subject. But what do you call it? But everybody have their problems. Everybody do, my nigga. It's not one better than the other. It's not like, oh, this person is better than this person and this family is better than this family because they can go home and get some respect and da 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 I'm like, that's bullshit, man. Stop it. That is bullshit. Think about it. It's bullshit, man. Bullshit. I don't deal with people who told me, who from other countries told me, man, I don't even know if the kid is mine. And I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, I think it's, I don't, we can, we don't believe in abortion. And it's rude for a husband to ask a wife for, for uh, what do you call it, uh, a test. So it's like he has to accept his faith and just believe that she's telling the truth. 
You see, so certain cultures are different. You feel me? That's the problem he has. But he's still, he's in a dilemma where he's, he's loving a kid that he's not sure about. You feel me? Well, at least the African-American man can be like, hell no, that, I want a DNA test. You feel me? At least he can voice his opinion. But saying cultures do not allow these things to happen because they got to keep the peace within the family. Accusing your wife of such things like that is basically insulting her. You feel me? So it's like different cultures. We can't we can't pick and choose and be like this is good and that's good. Well, at least they get respect from their wife, but yet their wife can't even voice their opinion. They voice their opinion is going to be some other shit going on. You feel me? The modern day shit has changed it. Of course, people are not the same no more. When you're in America for a little while, you become Americanized, and they still try to mix their culture with Americanized. So it's like a mixture of a hybrid of both. But I'm talking about the old fashioned culture of other people who come to this country that shit don't rock nigga the younger ones are changing a little bit but it's still a long way to go you feel me it's a hybrid culture now with the younger generation from other countries and everything you see it you see the girls being a little more opinionated you feel me you see it you see it of course saying habits you get you it picks up on you after a while you feel me You know what I mean? But you know me, man. I talk about things that most people are scared to talk about. And they call it controversy and they want to fuck me up and all that shit. They're like, fuck you, Jeff. I hate you. Don't ever talk. Mind your business. I'll be like, all right, whatever. You feel me? It's okay. Like, fuck, man. It's true, though. You know what I mean? Saying cultures, you can't just... Although the women don't have any some kind of right, they still can't go to their woman and accuse them of saying things. You feel me? There's, there's boundaries and borderlines. The way they communicate is different. You feel me? So it's like, you know, the African-American or the American. I'm talking about all American. The American has a little more freeway when it comes to communicating. He he can tell his wife, man, you cheat on me, ho. I want that test. You feel me? But, you know, other cultures is like, you know, they got to call grandmother and this and sit down. If he has a little... You feel me? And they got to talk it out and everything else like that. They still wouldn't get the test and everything. They wouldn't get no abortion. Sometimes a divorce is very hard to get. You feel me? So stop comparing them, man. If you want to compare, you got to compare the whole thing. Anyway, I got to go.